How's it going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a monumental matchup here in week four of the EBL. We are going against the Kentucky Kinglers. This is going to be a rough one. Uh, Derek and I very briefly talked beforehand. We're going to talk also, but I'm not going to include that. It's going to be over on Derek's channel. So if you guys want that full conversation, be sure to go check out his video. Um, I'm very, very nervous for this matchup because it's not a very favorable one for me. But... But I think we have some strategies to try and work this out. Uh, but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description. My Twitter and Instagram are both at hermitlonely underscore. Excuse me, moving my webcam. Um, you guys should absolutely check out the playlist down below. I need to I need to update the EBL matches playlist and the EBL weekly roundups playlist. Those are both down below. Alongside our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke, which we just wrapped up, so you guys absolutely want to go check that out. It was a very fun series to record. I think a fun series to watch as well. Uh, one of my more favorite ones on the channel. Also, merch. We have merch down below. We have our loaners merch. We have our LA Inferno merch. Check all that good stuff out. Um, but I am very nervous for this matchup. Um, I said in the weekly roundup, I just, I, I, I'm at a disadvantage here. Derek's got a very good team, man. A very, very good team. But I, I came up with some strategies that, uh, Maybe it could work. Um, my last second decision. I'm just gonna show you guys my team now before Derek gets ready. We have Moto Moto the hip out on drip drip. I hope you guys have noticed a little drip drip in their videos. Drip drip the Dracovish. We have Firecracker the Rotom Heat, Manny the Mammoth Swine, Jill the Tyranitar. Did I finalize that decision actually? Uh, Blackbeard the uh, Corvo Knight, which he just unmuted. So we'll hop into a call with him right now. Um, did I decide on Jill? Am I gonna take Jill? Am I gonna take Jill? Uh, we're gonna take Jill. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. Um, so I'm gonna hop into a call with him, and then we'll be right back with the match kicking off. Uh, so the strategy here, I'll tell you guys right now. For his Cinderace, um, I have Will O' Wisp on our Firecracker. The hope is that Cinderace lands or, or Will O' Wisp lands, and we can essentially neutralize the Cinderace because if his, his Cinderace goes down. Um, with a burn then the the best case scenario is we're able to bring in blackbeard again um, We didn't bring leafy on this time, but instead I have I have bulk up again on blackbeard I did my research we can hit drill peck on almost everyone but Dialga. That's the only Pokemon. I really hope he doesn't bring I really hope he doesn't bring Dialga um, Because then it'll be a little bit rough for us um, Dialga's one of his bigger problems for us I, I, I there's a part of me that really hopes he doesn't bring it because it is weak to ground and a lot of my Pokemon have ground type moves so I'm I'm really hoping he doesn't bring it like he gets kind of scared out of that maybe he sees that everyone has uh everyone's weak to um weak to ground so he doesn't bring it where is battle tower battle tower uh participating team obviously i already showed you oh not that i was doing the battle tower earlier um we're going with this team we're leading with moto moto though either the the hope is that he either leads with salamence or he leads with um leads with mimikyu so if he leads with Mimikyu, we're going to get off an attacking move. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roar it out. So right away, Derek always, and this is the main thing you do with Mimikyu, you set up the Swords Dance off the Disguise hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it, break the Disguise, and then try and roar it out. I'm confident that Moto Moto can take a hit before it's able to roar it out. So I think it'll be able to get the Mimikyu out. And then we'll just have to deal with it later. But this is the team he's running with. Okay, this is, okay. He brought, ah, he brought it. Okay, so Salamence, if my pen will work, if my pen will work, Salamence, Cinderace, Dialga, ah, okay, that's rough. I was kind of hoping he'd bring Togekiss, to be honest. Um, Ferrothorn, Mimikyu, and Primarina. Uh, I fully expected Primarina. I fully expected Primarina. I really did. Um, I fully expected Primarina to come. Primarina is very good against my team. And I'm fully expecting it to have an ice type move. So we're gonna leave with Motomoto. The hope he, is he doesn't lead with Dialga. Mm, maybe he leads with Cinderace. If he leads with Cinderace, we'll just ice fang. Sorry, I need to play my music because I need to kind of calm down here. My nerves are starting to kick me up. My nerves are starting to kick up. My nerves are starting to kick up. All right. Oh, we gotta listen to some music here. All right, let's done. Where's my music? Where's my music? I can't hear the game right now because I messed with my audio, but you guys should be able to hear the game. Uh, I can't. I'm gonna listen to some music here. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. The hope is that at least I could just put in a good showing. Even if I lose, if I put in a good showing, I'm okay with it. So he's going to lead with, I think it shows his first, right? My freaking thing keeps falling. He's going to lead with, sub to me, the Diago. Okay. That's rough. That is rough. I figured he, if he brought the Diago, I figured he would lead with it. Okay. 
do we yawn first turn or do we roar? We're not gonna outspeed it. We're not gonna outspeed it. Do we roar? Do we yawn first turn? I feel like we yawn first turn. I feel like we yawn first turn. Or should I just, I'm just gonna hit it with an EQ. I'm gonna hit it with an EQ. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit it with an EQ. He has nothing that can resist ground type moves, as in like can't get affected. So like Togekiss, for example, that's why I expected Togekiss. We ate that. We ate that. We get off a fat EQ. This is stab. This is super effective. Does another one kill? Does another EQ kill? It does. Spe yeah, it does. It does. We just get off another EQ. We get off another EQ. Nothing wants to eat an EQ. Ice beam. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, good job, Derek. Good job. Good job. We should have yawned. We should have yawned. Good job, Derek. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good freaking job. Ah, uh, what do we bring in to counter this? Manny's weak to steal. We could just get off a Volt Switch. We should outspeed it. So we could just get off, get off some nice chip damage and get another switch in. Um, let's protect. Let's protect. Let's protect. Hmm. Does he bring in someone else? I don't think he does. I think he attacks. I think he attacks. Let's protect. Cool. Okay. Let's see what he. Uh, he has Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam. Power gem. Okay. We outspeed, I think. We should outspeed Dialga. I'm pretty sure we should outspeed. Um, so let's go ahead and Volt Switch out. I know Willowis might have been good, but we're definitely going to die to a power gem, and I want to keep Rotom alive. This is going to be rough, dude. Losing Hippowdon is rough. He outsped! Wow! We lived! We lived! Okay. We lived. He outsped. That's not good. That strategy for Cinderace kind of goes out the window. He outsped. Wow, he actually outsped. Well, we bring in Drip Drip to try and finish this thing. That's rough. He outsped. He really outsped. He outsped. That sucks, dude. So the way I calculated is that low kick should do one, base 120, um, which is higher than Earthquake. Neither of which are stab, but we should outspeed it with the Sand Rush. <laughs> Please bring in Fairy Thorn. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. This is base 100. Base 100. Ugh, that didn't do a whole lot. The Iron Barb is going to get off a nice chip damage. Oh, the Sandstorm subsides. That's okay. Does he use a Steel type move here? He, he, he's probably expecting Tyranitar. I feel like, honestly, I feel like we do this. I feel like we bring in Blackbeard, try to set up, try to get something going here. Oh, that, that hit Powder on kill. That Ice Beam was huge. That Ice Beam was huge. What does he do here? What does he do? What does he attack with here? What does he attack with here? What does he attack with here? Stealth Rock. Okay. So he probably switches this turn, which means I'm going to get up a bulk, uh, get off a bulk up. I feel like he switches this turn. He doesn't really have anything for my Corviknight with, with Fairy Thorn, I'm assuming. Okay. So we're going to bulk up. What's he going to do? He, he clicked his attack really quickly. Leech Seed. Okay. Oh, we avoided. Yes. Yes. Good job, Blackbeard. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. So he bulked up once. Let's go ahead and substitute out. Let's go ahead and substitute out. We outspeed this Fairy Thorn, which is expected. The good part is we get a free substitute because he's probably going to switch right here. I don't see him staying in. He might. He might. His Dialga is the only thing that can get stop that can stop my Corviknight. Like, effectively. Okay, he stays in. Okay. So we bring in the substitute. There's the Leech Sheet again. It failed because of the substitute. Perfect. Perfect. So we bulk up again if he switches. He's probably going to attack right here, but I doubt it's going to break our substitute. I heavily doubt it's going to break our substitute. Mm -hmm. We got off a free bulk up. Daniel Byron. The, okay. It does not resist flying. As far as I remember, Salamence does not resist flying. Let me double check that. 
But I'm pretty sure Salamence does not resist flying. Salamence. My heart is beating right now. No, it's neutral. So, do we Dynamax right here? Do we let him try and set up? We're plus two. The question is, do we try and let him set up? Or do we potentially take a hit? Do we Dynamax here and try and get some kills? But the thing is, is Corviknight's going to take some hits. That's the problem. He's probably going to try and bait it and then bring in Cinderace. I could see that happening as well. He's probably going to get off a D-Dance. He's probably got Flamethrower or something. Screw it. He's probably going to try and D-Dance. He's probably got Flamethrower or some kind of flame move. Some kind of super effective move. We're going to sacrifice the substitute. And hope that this kills. It's plus two. We're also plus two defense. The hope is that this kills. It's a G-Max Wind Rage. It's going to get rid of the Stealth Rocks as well. It's going to neutralize the Stealth Rocks. Come on, Blackbeard. He's probably gonna outspeed. Yeah. D dance. Okay. Just like just like we thought. Neutral though. It's a neutral G Max Wind Rage. Plus two. No! 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 He's got Fire Fang, huh? No. No. No, no, no. We have to attack again. I mean, no. Fire Fang, yeah. Don't burn. Don't burn. Yes! Yes, Blackbeard! Yes! Yes, Blackbeard! That's huge! Him surviving was huge because that stalls our Dynamax a little bit. He's going to bring in Mimikyu probably. I can see that coming. Yes! Yes, Blackbeard! Yes! There's nothing aside from Dialga. Dialga is the only Pokemon I'm worried about on this team. Noel, is that? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the Mimikyu. That's what we expected. He's probably gonna get off a Swords Dance. That's huge, dude. That's huge. We're gonna break his disguise, though. We're gonna break his disguise. Swords Dance, as expected. I'm sure it's got something. I I should have researched Mimikyu's moves a little bit better. I should have researched his moves a little bit better. But we're gonna break through that disguise. That's fine. Does it have a fire type move? Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp could be a problem. Will-O-Wisp. He's probably going to attack, though. I don't see him not attacking. It's going to be a special attack. It's going to be a special attack. It's going to be a special attack. Will Drill Pet kill? I feel like it will. Mimikyu's weak. It's not very bulky. What does he attack with, though? A neutral fighting type move? Drain Punch. How much you want to bet right here? I'm just gonna attack and hope for the best. Does he switch? Does he switch? Does he switch? Does he switch? Ah, that was a huge kill on Salamence. Drain Punch, okay. Does that kill? Nothing, nothing. We eat that, Blackbeard. Yes. Okay, Drill Pack has to do quite a bit, dude. Okay. We're going to set up Substitute. This thing can't touch us. We're going to get a, a free Substitute. Free Substitute. I think I might try for one more bulk up. Okay. Okay. Dude, Corviknight's going to carry us here. Yes, Corviknight. Yes, Corviknight. We're going to get off Roost. I don't think he breaks our Substitute. And we can get off one more bulk up. Yes, Corviknight. He's going to switch. So we get off a free Roost. No, he stays in doesn't break it should not break our substitute yeah absolutely not we're gonna have a free roost and then we're gonna get off a bulk up we essentially have our own disguise right now if you guys want to think about it that way sorry i keep moving my mic i'm just very pumped right now uh actually should we just kill this thing should we just kill this thing no let's go for another bulk up let's go for another free bulk up because it can't really damage us he's gonna withdraw okay we get a free bulk up so we're plus three we're plus three. He's gonna send it. Okay. We take one free hit. So we're gonna bulk up again. We take one free hit from the Cinderace. The Cinderace is what I was really worried about, but with Corviknight being plus three and it being a main physical attacker, I think honestly we should be okay to, to take it out. Uh, we're plus three. A plus three attack from Corviknight. Stab, drill pack. It's not really gonna wanna eat this. He's gonna Gigantamax. Okay. That's no, fair. 
Yeah, that's all he can do. He's got to try and neutralize us. My other thing would have been bringing a Dialga. I honestly kind of would have expected Dialga, but okay. He's going to use G-Max Fireball, whatever it's called. Or maybe... No, Stab. You have to go for Stab. It's super effective. You have to go... Excuse me. G-Max Fireball. It's going to break the Substitute, which is fine. The thing is, is we're going to be able to eat this Fireball, I feel like. Oh, that did quite a bit, but not nearly enough. We're going to substitute again and hope that we don't die. That's what we can do. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Substitute shouldn't do nearly enough to kill us. No! I didn't know there was a limit. I should have just drill packed. I should have just drill packed. He's going to G-Max Fireball again. <laughs> so let's send Drip Drip in to deal with this. Ah, uh, we have to get rid of that bulk up. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. We should be able to eat this relatively well. I don't think we'll we'll take it like extremely well, but it should be a decent take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of sucks. I forgot. I forgot that. That was a crit too. I forgot that bulk up has, or not sorry, bulk up. GMAT, um, substitute. I thought of seven different moves right there. I forgot the substitute does that. Um, does he use a he probably U-turns, huh? Let's just fish this friend. Let's just fish this friend. Let's just fish this friend. We're, we're speeding through this. I feel like we're already pretty deep in this match. I wish you could see the timer like permanently. He withdrew. Okay, he's probably gonna bring in Dialga. Aquaman. Oh, oh Primarina. That's fine. Wow. Wow. Okay. Primarina's gonna have a fairy type move. And it's not gonna have a ground type move. Hmm. Does Blackbeard die to a fairy type move? No. My answer is no. But do we outspeed a Primarina? Do we outspeed a Primarina? Do we outspeed a Primarina? Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna stall a little bit right here so I can do a little bit of research. Do a little bit of research. I feel like we should. I feel like we should. We should be able to take a fairy type move. And maybe I should have sacrificed Tyranitar to get the, the, the sand up. What does he have? Energy ball. Okay. That's a safe, that's a safe move. That's a safe move. We roost because he can't use he can't use the ground type move with Aquaman. We roost. We hope that Skull doesn't burn. He can't affect us with the ground type, so we roost up. Perfect. What does he do here? Skull. Hope it doesn't burn. Wow! It burned. It burned. It burned. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's. It burned. It burned. It burned. That's GG's, dude. That's GG's. There's no way. I could try and stall it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and stall it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep stalling it. We're gonna get in a cycle here. I'm gonna try and limit this. God, that burn. That burn. That burn is huge. We're just gonna keep roosting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have nothing else to deal with this Primarina effectively without Firecracker. So we're gonna stall until Blackbeard dies. The hope. I mean, I could bring in Tyranitar. At this point, it's a question of do we take the risk of, of potentially getting more kills? Let me keep roosting while I think about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek. I'm sorry, but... Rain Dance. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to stall even more. We're going to make Corviknight just bulky as heck. We're going to substitute. We're going to substitute and bulk up again. I know, I know he's burn, but I'm pretty sure burn makes you minus two. 
So if we bulk up a couple of times, I think. How's burn work? Burn. Pokemon. It faded immediately. I should have honestly bulked up at some point. We're gonna roost again because that'll get us the full health, essentially. I know we're stalling heavy here, but I have to. I have to. Because this Primarine is gonna destroy us. I'm gonna Joe Pet. It critted. <laughs> Wait, what? Rain Dance. Rain Dance. Rain Dance. We're gonna Joe Peck and see what this does. That's GG's, dude. That's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's. There's no way. Oh, Corviknight was my win con. <laughs> I mean, I could Volt Switch, but he's probably gonna switch out on Firecracker. I don't think he lets Primarina die. He probably scalds. He's definitely gonna outspeed my Manny. Does he outspeed Jill? Does he outspeed Jill? Does he outspeed Tyranitar? Does he outspeed Tyranitar? That's a great question. The, it, it, I mean, the better question is, is his Primarina built into speed? If his Primarina is built into speed, it's gonna outspeed us. Simple as that. So we just send in Firecracker and Volt Switch, because whatever comes in, we're gonna probably outspeed if he switches as well. Volt Switch. That's what we can do. That's all we can do. He's gonna switch. He's gonna switch. We're gonna get a free volt switch off though, or we're gonna get to come in on something that we know is there, if you know what I mean. That's rough, dude. Corviknight getting burned. Is it gonna die? Yes, okay. We're even. We're even. Three minutes, whoa, what? What? No, no, no way, already? Already? No way. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, shoot. I'm gonna lose because the HP is definitely not on my side. Um, I feel like safe bet. Let's just send in Drip Drip. No, I should send in Jill to, to sacrifice. I should send in Jill to sacrifice. And then get the sand up. Oh, the rain stopped. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks because Ficious Ren would have done so much. Well, we have to send in first. Vault Switch. He's gonna send in Dialga. Okay, well we low kick and hope for the best. Hope we outspeed it. Yes, we outspeed it, we outspeed it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, 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 guys. Guys, 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 ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes left, two minutes left. We both already Gigantamax, so that's not a thing. Roger Rabbit comes in. He can't really hit me too hard, I feel like, right? I feel like we... Do we EQ or do we fish his run? I feel like he expects the water type, right? I feel like Psychic Fangs might be the... I feel like we just fish his run. What does it have that can resist water? Is Iron Head? Iron Head? Iron Head? I feel like that's the only thing that can resist water. Let's just fish this friend. That's our best bet. I jump kick. Miss, 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 miss. No, it hits. Oh my god, dude! I jump kick ruins the rest of our team. I jump kick ruins the rest of our team. I protect. I protect. I protect. Stall. I'm sorry. Last minute. I'm gonna lose, I think, based off of HP, but I think we stall. I'm sorry, I know this is a dirty tactic, but we're gonna stall to 30 seconds and I'm gonna protect. Punish me all you want, but I'm gonna, it's 15 seconds, 20 seconds of the match. I feel like I've been going pretty fast for the rest of this match. I have to stall a little bit and hope that it goes to HP again. Two, one, okay. I'm not gonna stall him that much, we're gonna protect. Wait, if he high jump kicks and he misses, if it hits protect, does it count as a miss? Oh no! He high jump kicks again, surely. Surely. 
Do we outspeed it? I'm sorry. This is the only way I can get a win. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm so sorry. That last minute, I only... Hey, you cannot say I did not. I, I only stalled in the last minute. That's all I did, I promise. No way. I hope that counts, dude. I'm so sorry, but I only saw it in the last minute there. I only, I had to, I had to. I would have been banking on him missing a high jump kick. Okay, I'm gonna hop into a call with Derek. We're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about it. Uh, again, go over to his channel if you guys wanna see that, uh, the whole conversation, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we gotta do an outro here. So give me one second. All right, guys, I told Derek, I don't like winning like that, but in the last minute, I mean, I know I stalled with Roost. I know I stalled with Roost, but I really just didn't know what else to do. I, I kind of panicked. I, that was like a panic thing right there, guys. It really was. It was a panic Roost click. I kept clicking Roost because I was just panicking. I was like, what do I do without Corvinate? And I mean, that's fair. I'm not physically stalling out the timer until the last minute. So I, if, I, if I get punished for it, you know what? By all means, you guys can come at me. I'll accept it, but I really don't think that was that bad. Um, I had to do what I had to do in the last minute because Cinderace was going to tear my team apart. Um, it missed the high jump kick because of the protect, but there's no guarantee it would have missed the next one. It would have killed Tyranitar and he would have won the match. But that's huge because now Derek actually brought up a good point. If he loses next week against the Luxuries and we win against the Incineroar, there's a very good chance of us hopping into first all of a sudden. So I'm kind of understanding my team a little bit more. I'm kind of understanding the stalliness. I want to say a huge thank you to Forsaken Ace for proposing this, uh, the move set for Corviknight. Forsaken Ace, dude, you're my guy. I'm sad you couldn't stay in the league. I really wanted to see how far you would have gone. But uh, I mean, we have Tar, who's, who's an excellent replacement as well. But um, it just sucks not to see Ace, you know, uh, finish out the season to its fruition. But uh, GG's Derek, man. That was an incredible match. Um, he probably would have beat me if there's a little more time. Guaranteed he would have beat me before if there's in a little extra time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna call it there guys uh, If you guys enjoyed the video, I didn't figure here Be sure to leave a like and subscribe check out the socials in the description my Twitter and Instagram are both at her only underscore uh, Be sure to check out the playlist links for our EBL matches and our EBL weekly roundups down below all that good stuff um, And check out the merch. We have Ellie in front of merch. We have loners merch check all that good stuff out down below um, And yeah, we're kicking off our next series this Tuesday our white two rocket lock so be sure to check that good stuff out guys and i will talk to you then and of course be sure to set up socials your friends family everyone you know let the people know let me hear where it's at we'll see you guys in the next one Bye.